Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the look I decided to create today. I wanted to do a full face and this is the eye look that I came up with. So as you can see, I already have my brows on and I have my eyelids prepped. I did use my Wet n Wild concealer to prep my lids and my Slim Shady eyebrow pencil. I'm using my Makeup Shack Rainforest eyeshadow palette today and I'm starting out with the bright yellow that's in the palette. As you can see, the palette is extremely colorful. It's a really nice, affordable palette if you want to play around in color. Now this yellow is very nicely pigmented. I did go ahead and start with that right underneath my eyebrow arch because I wanted to have everything kind of blend up into that yellow. You guys, I really had no idea what I wanted to do today, but I knew I wanted it to be colorful. So now I'm going into the dark purple in this palette, and I'm just taking that on the outer corner of my eyelid and just gently blending it up into my crease, but I'm not taking it all the way over yet. Like I said, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted yellow on my brow bone and I wanted purple in my crease. <laughs> so those are the two colors that I started with. Next, I'm going into the red shade and I'm taking that right in my crease area with a dense fluffy brush. I'm just blending that into that purple a bit, not taking it all the way up to the yellow because I do wanna add another color to blend between the red and the yellow. Not sure what it is yet, but I do know that I wanna have that red in my crease. So I'm just gently blending that out, trying to make sure that it's nicely pigmented in my crease area because I'm definitely going to be doing a cut crease for this look. So to blend out the red and the yellow, I decided to go into the orange and I'm just taking that on a small fluffy brush placing it right in between that yellow and that red, just kind of gently touching that purple as well. But I really, really like how that orange blended together with that yellow and red, you guys. It looked so pretty to me, and I was really pleased with how it came out. So I'm just gently blending that shade with the yellow, trying to make sure that I don't take it up too high because I wanna make sure that that yellow stays in place. Now I'm going back with that purple, just kind of deepening in that outer corner, dragging it a little bit into my crease to deepen my crease a bit as well. Now I'm just cleaning up this look just so I can see what I'm working with and get a nice clean line. Now I decided to go into that black and you guys, I am just barely, barely tapping the smallest amount of that black in my outer corner and dragging it into the crease. I don't want to completely cover up that purple, but I do want it to be a little bit darker in that outer corner. So I just lightly tap into that black, you guys. Now I'm gonna take some of my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm using this to cut my crease today. I'm doing a three quarter cut, so I'm not going all the way to the edge of my eye. I'm just stopping about three quarters of the way and I'm going back in with the brush that had the black on it, just so that I can kind of blend out the edge of that cut crease. Now I'm going back into that purple and using that to blend into the black. So I can have a nice gradient look for this cut crease. Now I'm going into this beautiful blue shade. It is a shimmer. So I am going to wet my brush and I'm placing that all over that cut crease area and I'm just tapping it down just to make sure it is nice and pigmented. But you guys, this shade is really, really pretty, really, really nice. This palette is actually a very nice, affordable palette. If you're looking for a colorful palette that has a lot of options, very nice and affordable. 
So going back into that purple, just using that to blend out that edge a little bit more. Now I'm going in with a little bit of liquid, black liquid eyeliner. This is my Wet n Wild. And I'm just creating a very, very thin line right along my lash line. Nothing dramatic. Now for the face, I'm starting off with my No Problem Primer. Now this primer claims to smooth out your skin and fill in your pores. I wouldn't say that it fills in my pores all that great, but it does feel very nice going on. Now I'm trying out this NYX Born to Glow foundation today. I got the shade Cappuccino. I mean, just as a first impression for this foundation, I like it. The coverage is amazing. That's one thing I will say about NYX foundations is the coverage is out of this world. <laughs> so I do like that. But I was a little bit surprised because I expected it to be a little bit more dewy or luminous. I don't know. I guess by the name Born to Glow, it's a little confusing to me because this foundation is matte. <laughs> and it's very matte on me. So I don't know if that's just my experience, but it's not very glowy on me. So I'm going in with my Revolution Concealer and I'm just taking this in the areas that I want to highlight, blending it out. And I'm using the color C13 and using a damp beauty sponge. This is one of my Shop Miss A sponges just to blend that out, making sure that it's nicely blended into that foundation. And I think that this concealer works very well with this foundation. I didn't want to use one that was super dry. Now I'm going into my Collab Loose Setting Powder. And I'm just taking some of this under my eyes as well as in the rest of the highlighted areas on my face. Just kind of lightly dusting it around my face as well. What I like most about this powder is that it's not super duper yellow and it's a nice warm shade for women of color. Now I'm going into my e.l.f. pressed powder and I'm just using that to warm my face up, set the rest of my foundation in place and just make sure that everything is cohesive. Now to bronze up, I'm going to use my Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer. And I'm just taking that on the outer portions of my face, along my forehead and nose, just to add a little bit of dimension to this look. Now I'm going into my Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 1. And I'm taking that red blush shade, which is Neo, and just using that on my cheeks today. I did go a little ham with the blush, <laughs> but it's all good. I just kind of buffed it out with my powder and uh, took a little bit of that color away. Now I'm using Lila or Lila as my highlighter shade today. And as you can see, it's a very, very pretty highlighter. My camera really wasn't doing it justice today, but it's very, very pretty. And I use that on my brow bone as well. Now to complete these eyes, I'm going in with my Profusion Pencil Eyeliner. This is in the color Cobalt, and it's one of their waterproof eyeliner pencils. And to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm just going back into that black from the palette, using a flat brush to just drag that across my lower lash line, very, very close to my lashes though. Now for the inner corner pop, I'm going into this gold shade, frame my brush and just taking that on the very, very inner corner of my eye. I didn't want it to overpower that blue, so I just made sure to keep it right in the corner. I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara today on my upper and lower lashes. I love this mascara, you guys. <laughs> and I'm lining my lips with my Ellery Lip Liner. And I'm filling them in a bit with it as well. But I'm going on top of that with my Lorac Matte Lipstick. And this one is in the color Black Cherry. Initially, I thought it was going to be a gloss, but it is a matte lipstick, as you can see. So this is the final look, you guys. I am loving the look that this palette created. 
The blue is popping and the colors blend it very nicely. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.